Texas. Doctors say the typical flu season can last from October through May, but you know what the government reports this year? More widespread outbreaks than usual. KTK's Carolyn Hicks speaking with medical experts today to find out what's going on. I hope that Caroline's feeling okay. Caroline, you feeling okay? No flu symptoms? <laughs> Neil, yeah, I'm feeling all right. Fingers crossed. Doctors say that they're seeing a surge, however, in flu cases at this time. And a representative at NetHealth here told me that they're seeing a surge and that less people have gotten flu shots as compared to last year. Fever, headaches, chills, body aches. They could all be symptoms that you have the flu. The CDC says flu activity is higher this year than last year and considerably more widespread within each state. Texas is one of the states considered to have widespread outbreaks right now. Doctors at UT Health Northeast confirm this for the East Texas area. We've been seeing a ramp up of the flu recently. Um, usually we see it in the October, November uh, time frames, but December and January we've started to see some, and now as we enter February, we're starting to see a lot more. He says this could be due to people not washing their hands as much and being in close quarters with other sick people. NetHealth gave us about or gave about 2,000 flu shots by this time last year, and this year they've given about 1,920. Coming up at six, we'll tell you some other ways to stay healthy during this surge. Reporting live in Tyler, Caroline Hicks, KETK News.